Hi, I think now you guys are ready to start working on getting a beautiful sound. And that's what we're going to focus on primarily in this lesson. Now, the thing about a sound on the saxophone, that's what identifies you as a saxophone player. All the greatest saxophone players in the world have beautiful sounds. All different, but all beautiful. So what we're going to work on right now is getting that beautiful sound. So the first thing that I want you to think about is airstream. To get a beautiful sound, you have to have a good airstream. It starts from down low, down in your belly, in your diaphragm, and goes through your body and through the saxophone. In order for that to happen, we can't be hunched over, bent over in a weird position. We have to be standing upright with good posture, or if you prefer to play sitting down like you do in your band class, you have to sit up straight to get that air stream to flow through your body. If you're hunched over, you're going to get a bad sound. I'm going to demonstrate. If I play hunched over, now if I play standing up, my air can flow freely so I can get a good sound. So that's the first thing to think about when you're practicing your saxophone and you're getting your sound. Now the next thing, you guys haven't really learned how to hold the saxophone properly yet, so I'm going to teach you that. We've got a left hand and a right hand. Two hands. You use them both. And they're always in a fixed position on the saxophone. So the left hand, always on top. I'm going to show you finger by finger where to put each finger on the saxophone. So we'll start with a thumb. It's going to go right here on this thumb rest. They call that the thumb rest, right below what we call the octave key. See that? And the next finger, we put right here below that top key. That's the index finger. That's our first finger. If you're looking at a fingering chart, finger number one. Okay, that's going to press that key sometimes. The next finger, your middle finger, will skip that little key in between and go to the next big key. And the third finger will go down to the next key, the main key. It just falls right into place. And this pinky key, the pinky finger, excuse me, will touch all these keys down here. So you have to be flexible. Right now we'll just let it sit around this top key, but eventually you're going to be stretching around there. So that's the left hand, and it stays there. It doesn't move. It stay, always stays there. Now the right hand, it's, it's easy. It's actually easier the right hand. So just like the left hand, there's a thumb rest or a place to hold the thumb. We put the thumb right there. You see that? That's the spot. Now the first finger goes right in that first key. That's the index finger, first finger. The second finger, middle finger. The next key, third finger. That's oftentimes the weaker finger, but we're going to use it. It'll get stronger as you practice. And then the pinky key goes down by these two keys here. It's going to use one, one or two of those keys. And once you have that, you know how to hold the saxophone and you can play any of the notes. All the notes on the saxophone, if your hands are in this position, you can play them all and play just like anything that I could play, anything that the greatest saxophone player in the world could play. Now one of the most important things, so you know how to hold the saxophone, and I talked about airstream, I talked about having good posture. We have to have an embouchure. What is embouchure? What is that? It's a strange word. Well, what embouchure is, is how you hold your mouth on the saxophone. And that's how you make the sound with your embouchure. Okay, you actually hold the mouth, you hold the reed in place with your mouth, and you, you can create the sound. You can control the sound with a good embouchure. Okay, so how do we do this? I'm going to tell you without the saxophone, and then I'm going to show you with the saxophone. So our bottom lip will go over our bottom teeth, just covering our bottom teeth just as a little buffer between the teeth and the reed. Now the teeth will support the bottom lip to hold that reed in place, okay? And the top teeth will go on top of the mouthpiece. And I'll demonstrate that now with my mouth. So the lip, just go over my bottom teeth, put it onto the reed underneath. Top teeth on the mouthpiece, like so. Here. Now we're missing one step. I have to seal with my top lip around the mouthpiece to make a seal around the mouthpiece. 
and we want a nice even seal. I like to think ooh when I play, ooh. So a nice even seal, firm, not too tight though, because if you're too tight, the reed won't vibrate and you won't get a good sound. So here we go. I'm going to put it around there like this. See that? You try that. Okay, so once I get that, and there's a perfect position, by the way, if you're too far back on the mouthpiece, meaning your mouth isn't far forward enough, you'll pinch the reed and it won't sound good. I'll demonstrate that. So my mouth was too far back, and it doesn't sound good. I don't get any sound. Now, if I put my mouth too far forward, it's going to sound not very good either. It's going to sound out of control, honking. Oh, that sounded bad. So you see, you have to have a perfect spot, and I'm going to show you the perfect spot, and you'll hear the difference. Using my air through the body with a good embouchure, and I get a good sound. So remember, to get a good sound, it's all about airstream, taking big breaths through your mouth, deep down into your stomach, and blowing through the saxophone. Think of the air going all the way through the saxophone as you play with your embouchure even and set, and any note will come out and it'll sound beautiful. Mm -hmm.